But you're, you're saying that in this Christian Illuminati, there are situations that you personally, firsthand know of, of things where there were the Christian correct. Freak, freak offs Absolutely full correct. on. Absolutely correct. Oh, and I and I got invited to some mm -hmm. and tested to see if I was a part and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like my my first um, uh, the Cleveland love story. Have I told you about this? Okay. So I, I go to a church in Cleveland. I do comedy for the men's conference, mm -hmm. and then I preach on Sunday. This is, this is Saturday night. I'm in my hotel room chilling. I'm taking a nap. I get a call. Hey, I'm about to come get you at some time, 7 p.m., to take you to a uh, restaurant, which is pretty normal. Mm -hmm. You're hosted by the church, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's 7 p.m., okay. It might be 6.15. I'm like, absolutely, bro. 7 p.m. is fine. So then he says it again. Are you sure 7 p.m. is okay? I'm like, all right, I know I just woke up from a nap, but yes, I think I just made that clear. And he, he goes, is your wife with you? I said, no, nah, man, it's just me. And, and another question, do you, are you traveling with somebody, blah, blah, blah? I wasn't. It's like, no, it's just me. He was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So you cool if, I'm, if I come through at seven? Yes, bro. Like, I'm like, yes. <laughs> then his whole voice changed. You know why I want to come through, right? I said, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, I want to come through and give you some of this Cleveland love. Oh. Exactly. Bro. Jeez. My whole body got nauseous. Oh. My whole body got nauseous. I was so, this is my first encounter with this ever in life. Uh -huh. So I'm like, No, thank you. That's what I said. I, I, I was so shocked. I just politely declined. No, thank you. Oh, man. Um, so basically he's talking about in reaction to the whole Diddy thing that the reaction to the whole Diddy thing is that um, there this is actually happening in Christian circles as well. Yeah. Um. We have heard a lot about this um, over the years. Do you believe that this is true? Absolutely. That this is happening? Absolutely. The question was, why is it called the Illuminati? Christian. Just saying it. Okay, it was just saying it. Okay, it was just saying Secret it. society, okay, just, pretty much. Just, yeah, Secret word. society. There, there, are, there, are, there are people who they arrange, Back to they, are, they arrange <laughs> situations <laughs> For people to test if they're down or not. It's, it's very similar to, to what's happening in the world. Yeah. And it's just an understood thing that, hey, you're, you're, you're only a faithful pastor to your wife in that state. Mm. When you come to our state, we'll hook yeah, you up. Yeah, he said even more like wow. that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I, I've heard of stuff like that before from pastors. I've heard of it too. Homosexual yeah. advances, uh, hotel room full of women. On a much smaller scale, I remember doing an event. And uh, a woman came up to us and said, are y'all saved off the stage, too? You know what I'm saying? Like, and they had, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, <laughs> and it, yeah, and they throwing it at you. You think you come over there doing ministry, you think, oh, man, everybody here serve God, but folks got their own agenda, man. So it don't surprise me at all, you know what I'm saying? I know the higher, the higher it gets, the uglier it gets, and I don't want nothing to do with it. Now, you know, the, the, the scary part about that, what you just said is, she must have tried somebody else like that before. She and, have. Yeah, and, I know and who it too. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it yeah. worked. And it must have worked because hey. she didn't. She didn't stop. Hey, hey uh, <laughs> track stars. <laughs> 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 you said Jeremiah. Hey. Wow. Hey. <laughs> nah, I just I've never. I mean, I've heard of it, of course. Never happened, and I think I would just be lost if it did. Like, I think I probably would have had the same reaction to him. Is like he just didn't know how to respond. Like he seems like he would have wanted to get angry. You know, in that situation, Should but at the same time, it's you're like, it's, like, it's too shocking. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, it ain't that shocking, bro. You try yeah. me, you try me with a homosexual in the van. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't even know. Nah, I'm like, bro, you don't get the. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about from a Christian, though. 
I'm a Christian. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you come at me like that, I want to give you some of that Cleveland. No, love. no, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying, I've never had another Christian. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Play fake with nah, me. Nah, I ain't shocked like that. I promise. You. That would that would shock me really. Nah, bro, yeah. it's, it's a dark world out here, bro. Ah man. Yeah, it, it just it just highlights. <laughs> come on up, man. What you got? I'm just. Oh, let me. Come on. One, I wouldn't even call it Christian. Number one, I know we're calling it like the Christian Illuminati, but I wouldn't even call that type of behavior Christian. Yeah, that's true. Uh, because in those circles, right, we have people that are getting along in the industry. I don't even, I don't even think really Christian should be a part of an industry. It's supposed to be a ministry, right? And so I wouldn't even like, I wouldn't even know how to react. But I have had an experience, not by a pastor or anything like that, but I, you know, I had like somebody that was pretending to be my friend. That made like a homosexual in advance, and I was like, "Dog, like I talked to you about, you know, not that I was lusting or nothing like that, but I had like a thing for this girl <clears> at one point in time. I'm saying like, bro, I'm, I'm sitting there talking to you about how I feel about this girl and how like I want to be with her and whatever. And you was like, oh, well, I'm just going along with what you're saying because I just it's it just for the entertainment of you. And so I'm like, that's not that's not cool. Now I didn't react like a Christian. I kind of. <laughs> was in my flesh <laughs> yeah. yeah But I'm just saying Like we shouldn't call Stuff like that Christian We should like People are really just Wolves in sheep's clothing So that's That's, right. that's, that's what I had to say When I heard that At the beginning Cause I'm like You're, you're at Somewhere doing ministry A man calls you To say I want to pick you up At 7pm And then after that He drops into a Barry White <laughs> like that, that, that would make me mad. So I, I wouldn't even call behavior like that. That's demonic behavior, in mm-hmm. in my opinion. But what, what it shows is that the ability to fake this is strong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. There, there's. It's too easy for people to know the lingo and know how to get up and pretend to be your pastor or mm-hmm. pretend to be your whatever. And they're doing dirt behind the scenes, shamelessly. Man, mm-hmm. some of the stuff be obvious. I've been to service. I seen the pastor preaching. He got a little dude holding his bag, lips all glossed up, tight pants, long shoes, and it just looked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shoes. And it just looked like <laughs> that's it. That's more than his assistant. You can just see it. Like we just be real about it. We see the we see the stuff happening yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah, like, yeah. and we just don't say nothing because yeah. people have a certain amount of authority or something like that. Like I've seen pastors who are who who are well renowned pastors, so quote unquote in the church, and they got people walking with them that look crazy. It was a pastor in Atlanta called named Tony Smith. Oh. <clears throat> a few years ago now? now Tony Smith <laughs> No, nah, I ain't saying he was gay But Tony Smith His approach was like <laughs> Ridiculous Like he would call people out And he would say Some of the most outlandish Oh I know what you're talking about Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah, talking yeah. about Four jars of peanut butter And all kind of crazy stuff But The stuff that he was saying he, Everybody he called out Was spot on And I think a lot of people See this stuff And we just don't say nothing You know somebody You know what I'm uh-huh. saying Got some weird stuff going but it, on. But, but again, this is not just homosexuality. There, there's there's people yeah. that will will give you whatever you want. Room full of women, all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. And, and and it's it's just <laughs> it's just this <laughs> understanding that. And this is what I I try to like fight against so hard with this show every time we we get a chance. There's this understanding that oh this is fake. This is an industry that you yeah. can conquer. Yeah. You can get rich if you build this church and you you do this whole gospel circuit. Like it's 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 a it's a it's a wealth game to them. Yeah. And they're getting away with being fake because so many people as long as you say the right things, oh he said this, he said that, he quoted this scripture, you give them all of your trust and you just mm-hmm. you just give them whatever they want from you. Yeah. And I'm just saying there's people out there who are preying on you. Yeah. They're preying on you. And we're trying our best to make sure that we show people what it looks like when somebody isn't playing with you. Yeah, yeah. Because what it means is there's sacrifice. It doesn't right. always work. People don't always watch your show. You may not yeah. get any views. We've de- dealt with that for years because we aren't willing to compromise in any of these areas. Amen. There's people who are not like that. Yeah. They're yeah. not like us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> they, will, they will compromise at every single yeah. turn but it still looks right because they know how to speak Christian. Yeah. Yeah. They know the language. You know so you just have to be careful, man. And I, it just bothers me so much. And we dealt with it firsthand. Uh, Atlanta dealt with it heavy. There's a lot of pastors that went down that you realize this was all a game to them. Yeah. This was just a power play. This is Game of Thrones to them. This, yeah. is, not, this is not authentic faith. And so many people I know have left their faith in God because of what they saw with all these pastors in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. 
it's mm-hmm. damaging, man. Like it's it's terrible what is being allowed to happen in yeah. the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. Hey Amen. I'm glad you said that too, because that reminded me of a book that my mom recommended to me called Church Mafia. And it's by yeah, like an Af- yeah, it's by like an African. He was a PK. He had a church of his own, and he literally talks about that stuff and how they infiltrate witchcraft. Like they literally go to witch doctors, be sleeping with prostitutes, all of the stuff to gain more power, so that their church congregations can grow. And then even in that, he gives you like step by step of how to recognize these people. Like it's crazy, but uh, Church Mafia <laughs> by Mikado. I'm so sorry, sir. Charges to my head and my heart. Uh, Rambulana. But he he get in there for real, for real. I think for me, one of the things is that I hate for I hate the I hate the thought that this could exist. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's why I didn't watch shows like Green Leaf and yeah. you know what I'm saying, like when you when you just make the church look so bad, I'm like, I don't want that to be true about any church. It you know is true. Saying? So it is. the question is, what do you do about it? Because, yeah, you're right. These shows are embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the reason they, the reason people get away with stuff is because we are willing to sh- say, this is what's happening here. This is yeah. bad. It yeah. is happening. We keep it tucked. We keep it hidden. Yeah. The, our church got in the habit of anytime somebody saw something and left, oh, they didn't believe in the vision. Yeah. yeah. They didn't yeah. believe in the vision. Yeah. Yeah. Cut them off. They they heard the vision and they yeah. they they walked away from it. It's manipulation, man. Like yeah. they're too good at it. Abuse of power, manipulation, all that. Was it for you all's for you all's own individual situation that you went through, right? Because I was kind of a, a a backseat person to that because I would attend regular not regularly, but I would attend when you all would attend mm-hmm. or y'all had events. Um, did anybody in the congregation try to call that out? Yes. Or, and yeah. and yeah. did anybody did the entire congregation? agree to listen or was it no but these things get called out in private right so we had there's another big church pastor in atlanta who did try to call him out there's several honestly there's several people that try to call our situation out Mm -hmm. but it doesn't get said in front of everybody it gets said in back rooms right so then you see that person leave and then but then the messaging around that person leaving all of a sudden is they didn't believe in the vision God, God called them here, but then, but they, they, they were disobedient. Yeah. So don't talk yeah. to them no more. Yeah. Don't deal with them no more. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's wow. cultish. Or, or, or yeah. even if you don't, even if they don't tell you to deal with them, you don't because you blind loyalty to yeah. the the vision. It, so it, it's like you like, I'm not gonna speak to Ryan no more. Ryan don't go to our church no yeah. more. He he, he gave up on us. Yeah. He gave up on yeah. what we were working on here. Yeah. It's a cult. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's cult like so. And that, but that's happening. Yeah. Across throughout the church. Yeah. yeah. Right. Across the board. Yeah, and I think at the end of the day, it's like, man, un- unfortunately, we're uh, it's imperfect people, but at the same time, it's just like, I mean, we, I mean, Dedrick had did response was, but at the same time, he did drop a bombshell on the Breakfast Club saying, yo, everybody's sleeping with people. I'm, and, and we thinking about one incident, he no, probably know probably multiple, multiple incidents of yeah. people in, in the gospel industry sleeping with other people's wives or, and, or, or doing different things, so... I just think, man, at the end of the day, man, we have to be prayed up. We have to be stayed up. And then also, like, we have to ask God to really, like, purify our motives and purify our mm-hmm. desires. Because I think once your desire, because I think the problem with a lot of people is they're willing to do anything. And it's kind of talking yeah. about another mm-hmm. topic we had where people are willing to do so much just to get in this industry or willing yeah. to do to get far in this industry that you you may come in and thinking like, hey, man. Ain't nobody gay gonna try me, bro. But if somebody come to you and say, "Hey, man, I got this million dollar deal for you. You you always wanted to do films. You always wanted to do films. You 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 said you had a good heart for Jesus and everything. Yeah, but my brother think you are very attractive. You be like, well, he married. Well, his wife don't have to know. But if you do what what he wants you to do, then you can get you can get that money. You get that but film started. But, but that's a, it's not always that. Ob- <laughs> it's, it's not always that obvious. And no, it's not. It's not and, it's, yeah. and it's not always things that you wouldn't do. They yeah. find out what you would do. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. They find out what yeah. you would do, yeah. and they tempt you with what you would yeah. do, not yeah. what you yeah. are obviously like. No. Monitor in yeah. spirits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 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 <laughs> we may react. Get you. We may react. Oh, if they came at me like that, I wouldn't take it. Yeah. But they'll mm-hmm. find out what you would take. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you got to say something. You got to say no to stuff that you would say yes to. That's when it gets hard. I had I had a situation where um where. Uh, a person was uh, that you know they were just a part of the church I was at at the time, and we were we were cool, we were friends, you know, and I was getting to know that person, and they didn't try me or anything, but uh, another friend of mine, um, they they warned me about that person, and I just started to see different stuff, 
And, you know, the the, the friend I had, um, they were like, well, look, be careful because he trying. And just like Ryan just said, it's not always obvious. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, you thinking, okay, we, we, we go to the same church. I'm trying to get involved with this. And they play with play on the emotions and they try to it's like almost like he's trying to reel you in and thankfully he didn't didn't try me because I would have been like playing Jane like look hey yeah, I'm ready to fight <laughs> <laughs> so I think too like I remember a pretty notable Christian rapper told us when we first started hanging around him he was like you're going to have more exposure and what exposure comes kind of responsibility because you're going to be tempted by things that you probably thought you weren't going to see you're going to see women that you probably normally wouldn't come across because they see you on a certain platform or doing certain things, and they're going to try you in ways you've probably never been tried before. Mm-hmm. So you got to be grounded and being real. Not only do you have to be grounded, you got to have some real accountability around not just a bunch of yes men who are going to mm-hmm. tell you whatever you want to hear because this stuff get dark and they get wicked. And when people want power, they want control, there's really no level they won't stoop to to get it mm-hmm. in the church or outside the mm-hmm. church. I, like I said, I've seen a lot of stuff that I'm not, I don't really want to talk about. But the higher you get up, the more exposure comes into play, and and the more people feel like they can have some kind of power, or some kind of authority, mm-hmm. it gets darker and darker. And if you're not rooted and you're not grounded, I've seen people do some things I thought wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. But if you're not rooted and you're not grounded for real, and don't have real friends or real people in the faith yeah. around you to say, hey, this ain't what we here for. Like you can't fall. And it's not. Mm-hmm. It's not always sex related. Some yeah, of it no, is, is power, it's yeah. success, yeah. it's, More you know, you really want to get married and th- these people are promising you this is how that yeah. happens. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys are already snared by this and don't realize it. Yeah. Like, you're, you're, they're feeding you something that yeah. you want. That's, yeah. that's what the game is, right? Because if, if I could give you something you want that you normally, you know, if you were in your right mind, you would realize this is a game. Yeah. Now I got your heart and I could, I could move you wherever I want you. Yeah. That's what a lot of these people depend on so that, that you won't say anything when you see something a little strange. Yeah. And it sounded of desperation, you hey, you show the kind of desperation, you hey, you out of there. They give, they set you up, you giving you all of this stuff, all this stuff, and yeah. then threaten to take it all away. What you gonna yeah. do now? Yeah, and yeah. and that's good that you said what you just said, like because I think some some sometimes we always focus on the immoral or sexual yeah. part. It's yeah. not like what about that pride? Yeah. What about that? Yeah. What about that? Um, greed? <clears throat> what about all that other that like you said that power that you deep down want because like. You may not been as a powerful person or anything, so somebody's like, "Yo, you, you know, what I mean, for this money, man, if you if you back back backstab your homeboy and just yeah. leave him, yeah, you know, what I mean, that stuff like that. We don't talk about those yeah. types of stuff because we so f- focus about the immoral, sexual mm-hmm. stuff like that. And it, but, it may yeah. not look like power and greed. It may look like, oh, I gotta take care of my kids. Yeah, mm-hmm. it may look like a real reason yeah, yeah. for you. Yeah, to, why you're making this compromise? Exactly, justifiable compromise, but it's still a compromise. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let me cheat on my taxes real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me yeah. fire them kids real quick. How many you got over there? <laughs> Three thousand a kid. Hey. 